all grow together. All right, so first we're going to go ahead and get our Samsung USB drivers, your Gear S ROM, and your Odin 3. This is all you're going to need. That's it. Those three packages. Let me just show you guys how to find them. For first, I'm going to go to Chrome, and so we are going to go to um, XDA. So on XDA, it's pretty simple. Just search R750, which is the model number of the watch, and you're going to type in... Um, Let's see, R750 XDA. Um, CM, yeah, for fire mount. Uh, all right, so and then we're going to go to the their form. Um, on their form, they have two downloads that we're going to be looking for. One is the actual firmware for Kaya Mod or the ROM, the custom ROM that has Torp already installed, everything you'll need. And there's also the um, the Google Apps. The Google Apps are right there at the bottom. The firmware is the one right there that says latest kind of uh, the image. Um, that one at the bottom you don't really want to use because it's going to you know, make your phone slow as you see it says if you do not uh, know what to pair with. So it's, it's I wouldn't recommend it unless you want to deep load it and all that good stuff. Anyways, let's hop right into this. Alright, now we're going to type in Odin 3 and hit enter. And the very first thing that pops up it should be that. Click it and then you're going to hit the install button which will expand the screen so you can see it. Click there and what will happen next is you'll have a choice to choose your region once it pops up. Let me click it again. Um, it'll say US, UK, wherever and then you're just going to choose yours as you see below. Give it about three seconds and then it will be downloaded or start downloading so don't click anything else. Alright, so once you've opened Odin, or we extract it first and then you open it, um, then you double click on it, you go straight into Odin, you want to make sure that you already extracted your file, because when you click AP right there, it won't be there if you haven't extracted it, you're going to be looking for it forever, so uh, mine is already, you know, in the um, folder, I'm already open straight to it, because I've already inserted it, um, but here it is, this is the file that you need, so make sure you have that one, you click on that one, and you make sure it's loaded into the AP section. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to get into downloading mode. That's where I was just now. You can do this from any part of your phone if you're in an operating system or whatever. You notice how I just turned the phone off by holding it down and I tapped it as soon as it turned on. It's really that simple. Then you go to download mode. So wherever you're at, you hold the button down. As soon as it turns on, you tap it again and hold it. And then that's it. So it's pretty simple. Just, all right, so we're in download mode. Now we can connect the USB cable. Let me set the phone. Alright, so now we have everything plugged in. It should say added right there. You see in the left um, white panel for the text or whatever. Um, whoops, I just took the software out of it. Anyways, if it's not showing up as added like it is right now, so you haven't installed the drivers properly, you haven't uploaded the firmware, like mine's not uploaded, um, or whatever. So what you want to do is, is make sure that you have that right firmware, it's loaded in there, you unzipped it right. Also, that you installed your drivers, that you have the right USB cable. It has to be Samsung one or one that came with the phone. It can't be. It has to be a data cable. So it could be another one potentially, but just to make sure that you're doing everything right, we'll do that. We add the firmware in. This takes a second. It's a small package because it's a small operating system for a small watch, right? Can't take a lot. So um, we start it. You'll see that it's first writing the CSC, which is the I think consumer service code or carrier service code. And then uh, I'm gonna pause it and let you guys see the rest. When it's done, it'll say passed if it passes. So let me pause it. All right, so it passed, and then you'll see that it's booting into the operating system. Um, it, it should take a while, so I'm gonna just go ahead and stop it and let it do its thing. All right, so you hear the dun dun dun, and that's it. You've done it. You've installed it. It's a wrap. It's done in there. You got twerp, all that good stuff. You want to boot into it, you boot into it just like you did the recovery the first time I showed you guys how we went to download mode. It's all pretty simple and easy. Snap, crackle, and pop. Donate below if I helped you in any way. If not, you know, just like and subscribe, share to keep me and my family alive. I'm out of here. Congratulations.